Hi, and welcome to Art of Illusion tutorial. In this tutorial, I've just finished developing this wine glass. You guys can see them right there. There are four wine glass there, and uh, one just on the table right there. So, I've actually used uh, an array to generate all of these glasses. So, what I do next is uh, let me go back into Out of Illusion and I'll show you guys how this was done. In any case, let's just close that. Here they are. But uh, I have a new one here. So that's the front view. So I'm just going to select Control. Uh, let's say Control B to give us the full default view. That's the front that you guys saw earlier, the left hand side, top, and the camera. But let's go back to the front. Select Control B again. Go to Scene. Apply some grid into it. I'm just going to make that point 0.1 and there. So what I intend to do now is just to draw my wine glass again. So you can see I have selected the curve tool, create curve tool. So click. Just going to keep going. All right. It doesn't look perfect so let me just uh, come back here and get rid of that very very curve get rid of it it's clear start again now let's give it another go okay this is looking much better now let's see I have my wine glass somewhere here so I like bring it down just slide to make sure I get it right first time now get into the okay now let's draw the base as the base of the wine glass there now take it down and link it there you can see it's not that straight. So what I'll do next is uh, use my selection tool right there. Double click on my outline. So just make it a little bit more, much more proportional. So drag that down a little bit. Okay, and here. Let me take this down a little bit more. Right, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's looking good. And I think uh, I might set you for that, but let's select it and just be sure that everything is in order. You can see with the rotation tool, it's sort of like almost in order, so that's that's good enough. So that's my wine tool done the next thing I'm gonna do now is click on OK and come to tools right here select lathed okay click on that okay this is how my wine glass is looking right now you can see that that looks very good okay then let's just click on OK accept that you can see the radius is zero which means the inside is occupying 10 if let's say I said the radius is 5 you can then see the inside there, but let's just make that zero. Click on OK. So I'm going to accept that. I like that. The next thing is to get rid of this very um, curb that I use. That's the curb right there. Just right click and play it. That's it. The curb is gone. Now I have my wine glass right here. Let me select Control B and see where it, where it is. You see, it's way, way up there. So maybe select it all um, kind of like move it down maybe there because I intend to create some more so I'll just go to tools array give me four of those and let's make the spacing 1.1 click on OK 
Now I have one, two, three, four of those right there. There. Uh, maybe I should just create one more because one was lying on the table. Well, okay. I will select it all anyway. Just move this thing up a little bit. Now, I, I want to draw my table right there. So just hold control, select this very one because I need one on the on the table. Hold control C. You can see I've selected one control C and uh, control V. I've actually pasted another one. So you can just use your shift arrow, move it away. Now use your rotation tool right here, click and just bring the eye down gently. That is a wine glass on the floor right there on top of the table. Okay, maybe use the shift key, move to, I mean, sorry, bring it down a little bit more. Okay, let's take it back up. Now, I'm now going to use the cube right here. Just draw the cube underneath. That's the cube right there. Um, here I come to the property of the cube the property right here changes maybe make that about 20 and make this about 20 as well that's 20 now reduce the width the thickness make that 0.25 okay that's to do with the size so that is sorted so you can see it all, you can see it well here. The camera view, press Ctrl V, Ctrl B so that you guys can see the camera view. Look at it right there, it's looking beautiful. You see that guys? Okay, so I think I may have to move this one a little bit in or up. But that's the camera view right there. Go back to the full view. Now the next thing I would do is to apply the material. Um, the first thing, let me just apply the material on this tabletop right here. Go to scene and uh, select texture and material. Come up here, okay, and select procedure 3D texture. I want it to be a wood, so I go to the property, select wood. So let me just call that. Uh, Good. There. Now I'm gonna need some colors there to come to color customize. That's my color right there. Double click on the color and just maybe change my color to whatever you want. Okay, wood is mostly brownish, so make that a little bit brownish. I think that's good enough. Yeah okay let's click on okay that's fine so we'll now connect let's connect it to the fumes there look at how the wood looks right now okay the next thing i'll do is just to double click on this very wood uh, select wood property make that approximately 2.5 and change this to about one let's yeah let's go for Point one, and I just leave this uh, as two. Click on OK. So you see how my wood is looking right now. Let's click on OK. You see the name I've given it is wood as well. Click on OK and let's move on. So you can always close this. So I'm just going to close that. Okay, the next thing I'll do now is. Uh, go into the object right here make sure make sure you've selected the table right there that's my table right there go into object and select set texture and material and once you're in there select the wood okay you remember the wood that we that we developed earlier the shift, the texture of the wood now come into edit right here edit mapping so you can always select and see what you want how the wood will end up and be that's my wood right there can you guys see that okay so let's look at the rotation i'm just going to put that let's say about 30 and see what will happen okay 
is not that visible but uh, at least let's see if we can yep now that's the texture it looks a little bit all right i'm just gonna leave it as 30 and then uh, click on ok now can you see the design you can see changes in my design right there so i'm just gonna click on ok so that is that done the next thing i will do is now to take care of the glasses so i will just convert all of these to glasses so to do that to do that i'll just might as well select all of my glasses there yeah, i could have done it earlier but it's okay there's no problem you can always do it the same way so the next thing is you see here where it says texture select the texture and come to new uniform texture once you've selected the new uniform texture change it transparent can you see the transparent but remember just let's give that a name call it glass see that I've just changed the name to glass right there change this to 0 0.7 and this other one would be one that's shyness would be one the roughness I will change the roughness itself to one okay now just click on OK so the next thing I will ask you to do is come to where it says material look at the material right there select material and come to new uniform material itself click on new uniform material once the new uniform material is clicked you can also give it a name call it glass right there now come to transparent and change the time transparent to 0 0.9 okay the density should I think we can always leave the density as a 1.0 that's cool so now let's see the color make that something yeah that's cool and now come to index of reflection uh, reflection the index of reflection and make that maybe 1.50 hmm maybe 1. okay 1.50 that's cool now click on okay Okay, the next thing I will do before I go into render mode is uh, I'll go to the scene right here. Now let's select environment. That's the environment right here. Click on environment. So this very environment, make sure it's solid and change the color. Let's change that to white. Click on OK. You see that right there. And click on OK to accept that. Now, all of that is done. I can always go into render I've already set my width to 1000 and the height to 800 make sure this anti aliens is maximum now soft shadows click on that okay click on ok when you click on ok this is what you will end up with that's what I ended up with I agree the system is still rendering but I want some maybe apply some lighting to the table right there so I'm gonna go back into the system just apply some lighting into it it's still rendering and I'll change the angle so that you can see all the glasses so let's close this come into camera mode control B now select this rotation uh, object okay right there and you see all the glasses if you want you can take it this way or whatever all right now let me get some light effect into it select one of my light there now hold down control shift and drag can you see that that lighting effect kind of like beam into three of those that's good enough for me then maybe select another one come in here and just drag it along now for the table right here I can just put in maybe one or two just to make it reflect that's fine I will down 
again go to scene render scene all of my settings are already in place click on ok it's looking better already you can see the light light is now taking effect so I will just stop and uh, come back to you guys when the system finish rendering okay guys the rendering is still taking place it's now about uh, 4 minutes 17 seconds so I'm just going to come back to it and show you guys uh, the final product okay now it's taking approximately 6 minutes for these uh, wine glasses to to be rendered look at it right there those are the wine glasses and that's the table Can you, if you remember the table that was developed earlier those are the wine glasses right there the background is white just because I set it white you can always change the background to whatever you want once you click on environment you can change that so just to finish up this program or this uh, wine glass modeling so i'm just going to call it a day for now so you all have a nice day and um, thanks for watching bye for now